You really won't tell me what you're working on. That's right. Next question. What was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. A resourceful accomplice finagled my early thaw. So I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around, bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. After I found my first remnant ruin, I started, uh, borrowing shuttles. After that, I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. So how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Vetra. Not your typical military-minded Turian. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise me. Drek is, well, old. Wonder if he can still learn new tricks. And Jal. That book hasn't even been written yet, has it? Exciting. What about... Gil smacks of complication. Might take some unraveling. Callow and Suvi seem busy. I hope they aren't all work, work, work. <sighs> Who's left? Well, there's... Oh, right. Cora. What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? She's exactly what she should be. Capable, reliable. She's a valuable part of my team. Sure, sure. That comes across, too. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's in Asari. Oh, I'll get around to her. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. What does someone have to do to get you to flirt with them? Not much at all. But I get a little extra jolt when I'm matched wink for wink. So just be yourself and the flirts will flow. You mentioned you came to Andromeda with someone? Nothing gets by you. Guess that's why you're the Pathfinder. Just a friend. The one who woke me up early. But now she's not even that. It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements, don't you think? I don't know. Don't friends and loved ones make all the effort worthwhile? I've always been self-motivated. Don't need much more than curiosity to drive me forward. What drew you to the Remnant? Are you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech, it's on a different scale. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make. You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. Ah, there you are. Gotcha. Uh, not do that. Do I need to get Lexi to do a psych review? <laughs> Maybe. People have been telling me I'm crazy my whole life. Just dealing with some scourge issues. That Archon fella tried to warn you not to joyride into it, but you were just la la la. It was an act first, think later move. I respect it. Well, more like I resemble it. <sighs> hey, you play poker? Come again? Poker. Card game, bluffing, betting. It's an age old measuring stick of a person's character, fortitude, guts. Used to think maybe it was my calling. Turns out I'm just good at it. Never lost, heads up. We should play sometime. Maybe if we get a break from duty. A little distraction can be useful. Let yourself wander a bit. You might come back sharper. Next time we port up and you're in the mood, I'm always in the mood.
Pathfinder. What's your read on the people we're working with? I don't bring it home. On the Tempest, I like everyone. We'll talk later. I know it. Raider. I should get back to things. Sounds good. detected. Picking up something. Anomaly on sensors. up something. Picking up something. Picking up something.
picking up something. Anomaly on sensors. Deploying probe. Probe away. Probes launched. Anomaly detected. Deploying probe. I found something. mostly unexplored it was charted once then the scourge happened what's old is new anomaly detected probes launched deploying probe getting a scan Thank you. 
Anomaly on sensors. Probe away. Anomaly found. Sometimes I forget how small we are. Detected. Is the heart of our war against. 
targets to get. I once took part in an attack on one of their bases. Sounds like fun. It was desperate. We won, but only barely. Okay, bundle up, people. I'll stay on my nice warm ship. Take her down, Callow. We designated this planet Habitat 6. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. I take it that's no longer the case. All H2O in Habitat 6, vold to the Angari, is ice. And those oceans, frozen over completely. Well, there goes the dream of a seaside property. That's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. Get out and push? Very funny, Ryder. Oh, Zuby wasn't kidding about the cold. Damn, this place is well hidden. Keep going, Ryder. Try not to make any sudden movements. You're probably being watched. Not just the weather that's icy, then. <laughs> These here is our lifesaver. Almost at the base now. Make sure you talk to Commander Anyik when you arrive. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. I 
understand. I'm reading a severe temperature drop. Hello. I'm the one putting together a team willing to take on the cat facility. As soon as I get word that we're all set on the tech side, Life support levels critical. Please seek safety. Temperatures are below freezing and How continuing to fall. How is everyone back home? Parents doing all right? But I love you, Hera. I know. Who knows how much time we have? You must be Ryder. Jal told us what you did for Kirin's team on Haval. I'm Anyik Dozil, commander of this encampment. You're welcome here as an ally of the Angara. Thank you for allowing us into your base, Commander. Your actions display your soul's intentions. I hope you will join the fight against the Ket. We've held the Ket at bay, but have been unable to deal a decisive blow. The longer things drag on, the greater our disadvantage. That's why I came here. To help. If you want to know where you can make a difference, go to the post that overlooks the valley. Nothing happens on Vold without our lookouts knowing about it. Before you go, is there anything else I can help you with? I've met Ephra. He's... interesting. He's never been good at first impressions. He can be stern, but he's exactly what the Resistance needs. Ephra took a scattered band of civilian fighters and molded them into an effective army. What success we've had against the Ket is entirely due to his leadership. Most people seem to really respect him. Because he would do anything for his people, he inspires the same in us. We may not always agree with Ephra, but we'd follow him to the end of the stars. How long has the Resistance been around? Nearly as long as the Ket. With our military destroyed, civilians took the fight into their own hands. They formed the Resistance as a final effort to retake our home. It seems to be working. Only since Ephra took over. His tactics gave us the push we needed against the Ket. But even now, we're a long way from winning. That's it for now. I'll be here if you have any questions. I should be going out there with you. Waiting around makes me unhappy. I'll keep my comms open so I can keep up with what you're doing. Sounds good. In the meantime, is there anything I can help with? Tell me more about Vold. Vold is an important planet for my people. Our capital, Estria, is here. We only recently won it back from the Ket, and the city is still rebuilding. For some reason, the Ket now focus their attentions on this part of Vold. That's why the Resistance is set up here. The Resistance seems pretty busy here. There must be lots of Ket. Yes. The Resistance has fought the Ket on Vold for a very long time. 
Our fighters are frustrated. No matter how many we kill, there always seems to be more. I have to get going. We'll catch up later. Stay clear, Pathfinder. Hold. Hold on. Give me a control An impressive surveillance Think I'll see system. Any Not you like win a war without good organization. Feeling kind of. I wonder if we get to see all of them. Looks like supplies aren't getting through to the resistance. Maybe we should talk to the requisitions officer. I'm reading a severe temperature. Brought... Whoa, didn't mean to sneak up on you. It's the alien, the one that helped out on Havaro. Didn't expect an alien to help. They've mostly tried to kill and enslave us. So that's amazing. You are amazing. Shut up, Beniska. You're embarrassing. You shut up. I'm being charming, right? The Angara have been wonderful to us, including yourself. So thank you. See? We're building bonds here to seek. So what's out there? Any tips? As a start, you could join our fight in Hajara, where those red lights are. I hear someone's looking for help. Or you could just go there and kill some cat. They're everywhere. Anything else you need to know? We've been stationed here forever, so we're experts. Those red lights. You said that's Hajara? Yes. Hajara Station. One of the Dar in the valley. It's a small community, mostly scientists. There's people there that might need help, if you haven't checked it out already. How do they live out there? Why so surprised? We've adapted to this weather. Those lights are conspicuous. Don't the cat attack? We've adapted to that, too. The cat wants to take us alive, so we fight to the death. It seems to deter them. What's that alien facility on that mountain over there? That's the Cat Command Center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls cat operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the prefect there. Meanest, motherless Bissan I ever saw. Even the cat seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. Do you know of any remnant sites or ruins? Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't know. Seek, do you ever read the dailies? No, you'll tell me if I need to know something. So where is it? Tall lights. Over on your right somewhere. I'll let you get back to your work. Take care. Stay safe. Tempest, we're gonna need the Nomad. My position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Extreme cold is detected, Pathfinder. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Life support is stable. Okay, Sam, what's Vold got for us? Cat activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. According to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all Cat military efforts on Vold. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara Resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller Ket installations. What about the Angara? The Resistance? What's their status? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hojara who needs help. We could visit Tekix, 
a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Pathfinder, Vault's temperature range is fixed well below freezing, with pockets of even more severe conditions. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. Got it. Don't crash the car. Our scans have detected remnant monoliths, which suggests the presence of a vault. And that means we might be able to melt this ice cube. All right, we've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. are below freezing and continuing to fall. How about we don't gun it down the icy mountain? Trust me. Please be careful, Ryder. Temperature's back to normal. Cats, coming this way! Hit them fast before they reach the base! I need help here. 
Pathfinder. This area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Seriously, Ryder, you didn't bring any music? I swear I will turn this car around. We should take out that cat camp. Pathfinder.
Tempest is a good name. Not the best name, but it's good. So what would be best? Hey, complaining doesn't mean I want it to be my job. It never does. One's gone. Here's Cat have been here, Pathfinder. So, if we started an outpost here, would we all live in slow forts? <sighs> Looks like a research station of some sort. Wonder what they're doing out here. Let's see if someone here needs help. <laughs> Reminds me of a snooty bar in London that only served drinks over fancy off-world ice. Someone around here probably knows what that ice is for. The main axle's got iced up again. Well, that's an enormous ice cube. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Janleth, I'm pretty sure there's something here. They'll probably think by the Life scourge. support is back online. The microbe variety in the top layer is completely different. They contain traces of four different radioactive isotopes. Could be something else. Ah, you're Ryder. It's an honor to meet you. What can I do for you? You were saying something about ice talkers? Huh? Don't let anyone hear you. Stupid story that started years ago when Dinor and I were students in Australia. Talk to Dinor. He knows more about how that tale spread. What are you doing with this giant block of ice? That was cut out from below Hijara. We're right above an inland sea and the ice goes deep. Very deep. Everything under the first layer was perfectly preserved from a time before the scourge. There's a lot we can learn from the composition of the deeper layers. Microbes, ancient life forms, all untouched by the scourge.
I won't disturb your work. Only the cat showed us the same courtesy. Teams, look at that architect. Before they don't get too close, no. there could be remnant nearby. They told me you might be coming through. Watch your step. We buried data probes in the snow. What is this place? Ishara Station, the only research base on Vold, educated on Aya. Trained by the resistance. What's your focus out here? Glacial movement, seismology, climate, anything Aya needs from us. Resources are tight, so our scientists know a bit of everything. That way, we are prepared for anything. How long has this station been around? Only a few years. This used to be Ket territory before the Resistance pushed them out. We've discovered a wealth of resources the Ket protected out here. Metals, minerals, even a new species of edible cold-weather fungus. All that was hidden under the ice? And more. We've only scratched the surface. Are you in charge here? Lead researcher. Worked as a seismologist on Aya before I volunteered for Hijara. You volunteered? We all did. Aya is fine, but all that green gets boring. I can't speak for the rest, but I came here for the adventure. So far, Vold has lived up to my expectations. Always a new mountain to scale. I'll come back if I need anything. I'll be here. Well, I haven't seen many of your kind around here, but I've heard lots about the Pathfinder from my friends on Aya. All good things, I hope. So far. I'll take a look at your stock. Got plenty of supplies.
I'm detecting below normal temperatures. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones have been added to your nav system. Pathfinder. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Yeah. 